Oops. Well, uh, hi everyone. This is Whitehawk, and we'll come back to the Merrymaker Normal levels. That was the level ID if you want to play this level yourself. It's Battle in the Sky. I didn't expect to start this video so quickly, but I just accidentally pressed the button before I actually started my commentary. Whatever the case, this is a normal level, and it's not going to be that long. Oop! <laughs> I thought I was going to die right there, but I forgot that I actually taken a power up. Anyway, there's lots of levels that, be, that are being requested to me that are made by people who do not understand how much you can do in Mario Maker. I think this is that I'm right at the point where uh, I was getting popular with the requests, and that's why there's so many requests from people who are not great level makers, and why I'm getting such short levels right now. This is, like, this is not terrible. It's not well constructed either, however. Like, how are you supposed to dodge that spam? It's like, hey, there's this new tool available. Let's make a level out of it without actually putting care and thought into it. You know, something like that. Truly exceptional levels, they they have that little touch that makes them a cut above the rest. And they're quite rare to find when you're just getting levels requested by people. Some people request levels from, you know, popular level makers, but those levels are not so great themselves. Not, not necessarily, anyway. If it's like someone like Kiavik, obviously it's going to be great, but some people are popular for the wrong reasons, or they were already popular to begin with, and by uh, proxy, their levels are going to be popular too. Kind of like me, honestly. When I first started making levels myself, they no one was paying attention to them. And that's the generator. It's only when I... My, my first really popular level was Inkling Kazalan, honestly. Definitely wasn't the le first level I wanted to be popular, but I'll deal. I have to, really. Yay! I like blowing stuff up. It's too bad I can't blow those bullet bills up. So it's definitely a battle in the sky, but it's kind of a mess. It could have used better construction for sure. You're just going in one direction and destroying stuff. And... <laughs> oh, that was kind of funny. The problem is that uh, it's not very convenient to avoid the projectiles. Even though it's kind of a shmup, Mario is too big for that to work. And there, like at that part with the spinies, there's too little space to really be able to avoid any of the attacks, you know? That's the problem. Also, I don't think you realize that uh, you can actually destroy the stuff above you and go through here to avoid pretty much everything. Huh. Why is there a door here? Did you put a shortcut? That'd be lame if you did. Well, whatever the case, the level is over. Oh, that, that's where the door is. Okay. Fair enough. It doesn't really work that way in a way, however. It would have worked if this was the uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers style or Super Mario Bros. 3 style, I think. Maybe even the Super Mario Brothers. No, not Super Mario Bros. 3, but definitely the original Super Mario Brothers style. Well, whatever the case, ID down there if you want to play it yourself. Hope you've all enjoyed this video, and I'll have a very nice day. Bye-bye.